Hey everybody, uh, just a quick video on useful but commonly overlooked functions on the Tascam DP008EX. Uh, my biggest one is the tuner. I'm always, when I do guitar tracks, which I often do, looking for my tuner. And I can't ever find it because there's this thing in my house where my wife hides something and then I have to look for it. And then I eventually have to ask her, where is this at? And then she looks right where I last looked and goes, it's right here. It's just a thing. She has to have that. But anyways... So I realized, you know, fairly recently, hey, I don't need to do that anymore. Um, and I don't have to have her help me find where the tuner button is. It's right there. So you just press the tuner button and you tune. And something to um, keep in mind on that is where you're inputting at. So if your input is set for um, the internal mics, it can do it. And if you're using external mics, the manual says... That you can only do it through input A, and you don't have to turn it to a guitar. But I've noticed that no matter what I set the setting for, if it's plugged into input A, it seems to see it, and it tunes. So your mileage may vary, but just keep that in mind. And then for those of you who um, are purists and you know want an oscillation, then you can pick a tone, any tone. And yes, indeed, this is just a test. It is only a test. And um, you can set that for you know whatever frequency you want. So... And then you can go back to chromatic tuner there, and then we can just go ahead and exit. And then, so there's your tuner. So um, you got a regular chromatic, and then you've got an oscillator that'll give you whatever tone, and you can use that for a harp or something or some other thing. But you can always hear it through the task cam anyways, because you're probably miking it, so it doesn't really matter. But some people want that, like a pitch pipe or whatever. Old school. Uh, now, the other thing is... Um, the metronome. I mean, it's obvious, but because it's, it's right there, and you probably already use it, but just in case you don't, there you go. So you just basically use the jog shuttle wheel and turn it to whatever you like. I do it on record only, but you can also do it on record play. I don't really like hearing it on playback, but if you do, because you want to keep the click going while you're rehearsing, say for instance, and listening to tracks that have been recorded so far, then you turn it to record play. I don't like that. I just I normally just have it on record only but it's your your call so anyways we'll just turn that off but anyways um so there's the metronome and um the other thing that is very useful that i have found <clears throat> while well, i use it it might not be useful to you but i like it in the menu here you go to a song is protect so you what you say you're doing a bunch of different songs and um you know, you're putting a piece together or you're working with more than one person or whatever, and you've got songs done and you don't want to jack with them um, and accidentally put something on them or open them and do things to them like delete parts or whatever. Accidentally, you know, fool with something, just go ahead and protect it. So you just go into protect, um, you turn it on and then hit execute and it'll protect the song. And um, you can always, like, if you do ever screw something up, you can always do undo if you want to. The undo is right here. And I'm going to do a whole video on that because the undo is pretty cool on this thing. You can just do undo redo or you can undo limitless times, but it's a little different than what you might normally be used to. Normally you, you know, set a certain amount or whatever, but I'll get into that. But anyways, so there's a few things that you can use on the task cam that you might not have thought of. Certainly I wasn't using them on a regular basis. So there you go. See you guys.